Oh, look, it's Economics University. We're all high ELO challenger players. We don't need economics anymore. Haha, <laughs> Max, your school is shut down because you suck and you're not challenger like us. <laughs> All in, just my style. Are you guys interested in beating up some broken champions? Are you guys tired of not having enough RP to buy your favorite Echo skin? Well, have no fear, Maxki is here, and I am officially partnered with Quarterback.gg. This is an app that lets you play League of Legends for free skins and do fun challenges. Join Team Broken Champions as we beat up some broken champions. The link will be in the description down below. So this app, like I said, just gives, helps you get points for free skins. All you gotta do is join my team, click the play button, and then you can pick Summoner's Rift, ARAM, or Earth. Could be ranked, normals, whatever you want. Then you pick a challenge, most kills, most assists, best KDA, most CS and then you pick a challenge I'm gonna do most kills and then you just click start the challenge and boom you could invite your friends you see people from other clans that you're gonna play against and then boom you just click play and then you're ready to play for that challenge you can use your winnings to raffle for skins or you could personally go and search for skins and then unlock them yourself so see we got a collection of echo skins nice suit Lastly, I will personally gift the top player of my club free RP every week. And on top of that, I'll shout out the top player. So join my team, guys. Look down in the description below. And let's start beating other clubs. Welcome, class to Economics 9.6 Echo University. We're talking about everything Echo for patch 9.6. Special shout out to uh, quarterback.gg because without them, Echo University would have no textbooks. So uh, send help. <laughs> So we're going to talk about Echo's best runes, best builds, must bans, and Echo's patch rating for patch 9.6. There was a tiny rework to Minion Dematerializer. There are some extra bans this patch, so we'll talk about those. Just a quick heads up, patch 9.7, which comes out in two weeks. There might be some more indirect Echo nerfs coming, so uh, we'll brace for those. But anyway, let's get into 9.6 rune pages. So the best Echo rune page, in my opinion, for this patch, and probably future patches, is... Domination, Inspiration. So you're gonna go Electrocute, Sudden Impact, Eyeball Collection. But remember in 9.7, they're reworking this Eyeball Collection tree. So we'll talk about that next economics. Ravenous Hunter, and now Inspiration Tree. You always wanna go Magical Boots. Magical Boots are like a free kill worth of gold. You get free boots, 300 gold. On top of that, they have 10 extra movement speed. Echo does not have a lot of base movement speed, so that extra 10 is actually really good. And on top of that, the main juicy part is Minion Dematerializer. And Minion Dematerializer actually got reworked this patch now. Instead of six charges, it gives you three, but they're like more empowered. But let's talk about how to use Minion Dematerializer so you guys know how to use it in your games. So the main reason for Minion Dematerializer is to improve Echo's wave control and wave clear. So there are probably three different ways you want to use your Minion Dematerializers, and I'll talk about all those three. So the main point is to get that one Q at level seven. So firstly, to get that 1Q at level 7, you gotta have 88 AP, which is 2 Dark Seals, and 2 Amplifying Tomes. This may change in, in patch 9.7 because they're nerfing Dark Seal by 5 AP, but we'll talk about that next patch. So anyway, you want to dematerialize at least 2 ranged minions. If you re dematerialize 2 ranged minions, you get 9% bonus damage, which means that at, at 88 AP and at level 7, if you're not super behind, you'll be able to 1Q the wave. And on top of that, if you want to guarantee a 1Q from level 7 to 9, then you do 3 uh, dematerializers on caster minions. But if you're ahead already, you have some stacks on your dark still, you have extra items, then you don't really need to dematerialize a third caster minion. The reason for the third caster minion is because the last wave before level 9, before you turn level 9, the last wave while you're level 8, you won't be able to 1Q it with 88 AP. But with three dematerializers on casters, you will. So so say you don't want to do all three on the casters, then you could do two on the casters. Two is probably the minimum that you want if you want a 1Q at level seven. So you want to use two on the casters and then one on the cannon. When do you want to use it on the cannon? Anytime you want to instantly get wave control, like say you want to push the wave or you want to back or you want to go roam. As soon as you eat that cannon, you instantly push the wave towards the enemy's uh, mid laner and then boom you could roam you could back do whatever you want and then lastly the other thing you could do is you could actually dematerialize a melee minion this will just help you farm the melee minions a lot easier so those are the three different ways you could use a minion dematerializer so if you guys learned something and let's talk about another echo room page so i know there are people who are not fans of inspiration tree and i originally wasn't a fan of it but now i am 
But if you're not a fan of it, then you can go Domination Sorcery, you're gonna go Electrocute, uh, Sudden Impact, Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunter. And then the Sorcery Tree, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Sometimes you wanna go Nullifying more for AP matchups, Transcendence for that AP CDR. Or you could still go Absolute Focus Gathering Storm, but they did nerf Absolute Focus a while ago. Mana Flow Ban for mana. The Sorcery Tree is anything you want, personally. Runes are basically anything you want. If you want that Dematerialize or Wave Clear and free boost, and you go that. If you want the Nullifying Orb for uh, AP people like LeBlanc, do that. If you want Transcendence or CDR, you could do that. Absolute Focus Gathering Storm for that Flight AP. You could do anything you want with these runes, especially the secondary tree, so it's all about up to you and how you want to play Echo. And lastly, for the flex runes at the bottom, usually always go double AP and then pick either armor for like AD matchups or MR for AP matchups. So Echo's build is the same thing as it was before. You got Corrupting Potion starting item, then you're gonna go double Dark Seals, Proto Belt, and after Proto Belt you want to go your Boots of Choice, Lich Bane, and then after Lich Bane, you can build Merlinomicon for anti-healing, Deathcap for snowballing, Zhonya's for AD, Void Staff if they have like 3000 MR. And then you eventually build all these items regardless. And then lastly, if you have enough gold, always buy an Elixir of Sorcery for that extra AP. It does a lot of damage. Um, you could actually go Ludens Echo also after Proto Belt or before Proto Belt, depending what you want, depending if you want a Perma Wave Clear. If you want a Perma Wave Clear, you can go the Ludens Echo build, or you could go the CDR Echo build and get like Proto Belt Ludens Echo and then keep building CDR items with Transcendence. If you're reversing AD matchups, you could go Proto Belt Tabby's Iceborne Gauntlet, which means, that, and then Zhonya, so you'll be super AD tanky. Um, you could always build the Andre's Torment for massive HP tanks, but on top of that, Echo's build is pretty much the same as it always has been. But remember the next patch they're nerfing Dark Seals. So we might not go double Dark Seals anymore. We'll talk about in patch 9.7. So here are all the items you would probably build on Echo. Pick which ones you like and have fun playing Echo. So there are actually a lot of champions that we want to avoid and ban. Sadly for Echo, a lot of these champions do counter him and make his life a living hell. So number one, we got LeBlanc. LeBlanc is actually S tier right now because she is just does so much damage. She's a lame bully. The meta is all around winning the early game and just destroying the early game. And that's what, literally what LeBlanc does. So for, especially for Echo, because Echo's a melee champion, LeBlanc just destroys destroys him. Cassidy is another champion that Echo just can't kill. Echo just can't kill Cassidy, and after 20 minutes, Cassidy just becomes like a 1v9 tank assassin. Rise is another big Echo counter. Nothing really, you can't really do anything versus Ryze with Echo. He just beats you, he's tankier than you. He, he doesn't he doesn't build any AP and still out damages you. Then we have Silas. Silas is actually really annoying for Echo because especially Aftershock Silas. He does a lot of damage. He out heals you, out damages you, steals your ultimate, out heals you again. He's just really hard for Echo to beat, especially because AP champions don't have an, an a reliable anti-healing item. So it'll take you two two items at least to build Merlinomicon before you can even fight Silas. But even then, he still heals for like 300. Zoe is also S tier right now. She does a lot of, she's also a lane bully. Cause like I said, the meta is lane dominant mid laners. And Zoe is really pokey and lane dominant and also scales really well and then one shots your teammates, really annoying. Zed is actually also really good right now because of his buffs. He's probably one of the strongest AD assassins now. And this is more of a lower elo ban because in lower elos, I know I talked to a lot of Echoes and they really hate playing versus Zed. And I don't, and I don't even like disagree with that because now that Zed got buffed, he actually does a lot more damage than Echo in the early game now. So dying one time to Zed is like the, your lane is over. But I recommend building Tabby's Seekers Rush, so he'll probably never be able to kill you. So if you rush Tabby's Seekers, you should be in a good spot. Lissandra, Aftershock Lissandra, you can't kill this champion at all. So it's, it's like first thing a Salus, except a Salus that has like 3000 CC and you get perma CC and the jungler just kills you. So Lissandra is just unkillable. If she doesn't have Aftershock, then she's pretty easy to kill, but usually they go Aftershock. And then outside of mid lane, we have like a Jax. Jax is still one of Echo's biggest counters. You can't kill him. Riven is still 1v9 top laner right now. You can't kill her either, especially with Spear of Sojin and Conquer, just insane. Rek'Sai is the 1v9 king in the jungle right now, even after his nerfs. He's still pretty strong, with, especially with Hail of Blaze, especially with Conquer. also. He's still, he's just really strong, especially if the enemy jungler knows how to play him. I just personally hate Kha'Zix. Kha'Zix seems to 1v9 every game against me. And then, oh, Yasuo is also a mid laner. Yasuo is pretty strong with crit buffs and counters that go pretty hard. So I would recommend banning Yasuo also if you hate the champion. But yeah, those are the champions right now that I feel like are annoying Echo the most, and there's a lot of them. So that's why it gets pretty hard to climb with Echo. But yeah, those are the most banned, so let's talk about Echo's patch rating. 
So for this patch, I'm gonna give Echo a B. Maybe a B is a little bit too generous because some uh, tier list put Echo as a C tier. But I'm gonna give Echo a B because if Echo doesn't have, if there are no broken champions in that game, then Echo could easily 1v9 the game. But obviously the meta is around like LeBlanc and all those champions, Bruiser champions. So if they're in the game, it's a lot harder for Echo to 1v9. But if they're, if they're not in the game, then Echo could easily 1v9 the game. So that's why I'm giving him a B. On top of that, 80 carries are back with this, like with crit, like Kaisa, Kaelin, all those 80 carries 1v9 again. And if the enemy 80 carry has like a Thresh or like a Lulu, or there's like an Ivern jungle, it becomes impossible for Echo to kill 80 carry. So Echo just gets one shot by enemy 80 carry. So there are a lot of like bad things that could happen for Echo, so you can't carry the game. But if everything goes well and those champions are not in the game, then it's pretty easy for Echo to 1v9 the game, especially if you play well. So that's why I'm giving Echo a B this patch. Next patch, Echo's getting indirectly nerfed again with the Dark Shield nerf, so we'll talk about that in patch 9.7. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Economics, and I'll see you guys in the next one.